Hello. In this video, we're going to answer the question, what is media literacy? In order to do that, we'll start with an understanding of literacy in general, and then we'll discuss the idea of media literacy. To begin, let's define literacy. Literacy is the ability to read, understand, analyze, and create with a written language. Someone who has literacy is a literate person. Part of literacy is analyzing text. Analyzing means looking at something carefully to understand it. Let's look at an example to help make this idea clearer. Last year, Eve was learning Arabic. She studied the characters every day. One day, she picked up a newspaper written in Arabic and she could say almost all of the words. Unfortunately, she knew the meaning of only a few words. To really have literacy, we need to be able to read, understand, analyze, and create writing. Therefore, even though Eve could read the newspaper out loud, she was not yet literate in Arabic. After one more year of studying, Eve can understand the Arabic newspaper and she can write sentences in Arabic. Now, because Eve can read, understand, analyze, and create writing, Eve is literate in Arabic. We use the word literacy for subjects other than writing, too. For example, we say that someone who knows how to use a computer is computer literate. In the same way, we can use literacy to talk about media. Someone who is media literate can read, understand, analyze, and create media. This means understanding not only the text in a media message, but also other pieces of the message, such as pictures or data. When someone who is media literate opens a newspaper or sees a post on social media, this person knows to ask important questions about the message and the people who made the message. You'll get practice with these questions later in this unit. Finally, let's see an example of someone who is media literate. Lynn rides the bus into the city every day for work. On the way, she sees advertisements inside the bus for medicine, food, and movies. She understands the advertising messages and asks important questions about the purpose of these messages and where they came from. She asks the same questions about the messages she sees in social media and on TV. After she analyzes these messages, she makes better decisions about how to act. For example, she can make better decisions about money, entertainment, and government issues. Lynn's friend Vanessa doesn't have media literacy. She can see the same media messages that Lynn sees, but Vanessa doesn't ask questions about the messages. Because she doesn't have media literacy, Vanessa's decisions about the world might not be as good as Lynn's. So to wrap up, media literacy means the ability to understand, analyze, and create media messages. Next, we'll read an article about media literacy.